Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain, folks. Falling. Oh man, oh man. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? I'm going to have to go ahead and declare this press conference today as the greatest press conference of all time. This was the greatest rap battle of all time. Man, Mayweather and Conor McGregor they have changed the game when it comes to promoting a fight. No doubt about it. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Deep down, every boxer, every promoter that's not a part of this event, they're saying, damn, why couldn't we be a part of this? This is some serious history in the making right here, guys. Floyd Mayweather is a genius. He knows how to bring back vintage Floyd when he needs to. Conor McGregor, props to Conor McGregor. He was on his A game today. Obviously, he's seen how things played out in the last press conference in LA, and he said, okay, I see what you're doing. I see how y'all doing this. And Connor, he came out swinging today in the press conference. But like Floyd, Floyd always has something to come back with. He always has something to come back. They went back and forth. It was a gun slinging battle on that stage today. WWE, these hip hop battles, they ain't got nothing on what we just seen today. Unbelievable, must see TV. Once again, and for the decafs that was praying for the downfall of this event because Floyd Mayweather is involved, because Floyd Mayweather is the favorite. Hell, Floyd Mayweather is the promoter Mayweather Promotions was the lead promoters for the Pacquiao fight, which was the biggest fight before this. And now Mayweather Promotions is promoting this fight. Boy, this was some good stuff, man. This is, I mean, I just watched it, guys. I, I just watched it right now. And I'll most likely watch it a couple more times before the night is over. This was some good shit, man. This was some real good must-see TV type stuff right here. I just want to go over some of the highlights when it comes to the exchanges. Like I said, man, McGregor was on his A-game. Floyd was on his A-game. McGregor was on his A-game. McGregor, he, he tried to clown Floyd Mayweather, you know, his um, attire. You know, because Connor's wearing this fancy suit. And of course, Floyd, as you see in the picture, he's rocking the, the Canadian t shirt, TMT style. And Connor says something like, look, you know, dress your age, et cetera, et cetera. Floyd Mayweather got up. He walked over to Dana White. And he said to Dana, he said, Me and you know who got the money. He said, When you making money like me and you, Dana, you ain't got to wear no suits because Dana White, he was rocking nothing but a plain t-shirt as well. He wasn't wearing no fancy suit. So Floyd was like, yeah, we ain't got to rock the suits when you know you got the money, the ones who got the real money. They ain't got to wear no fancy suits. And it was just so ironic because Dana White is the one with all the money when it comes to the UFC. And out of everyone who's wearing suits, Two of the only people, or almost two of the only people, 
on stage they was rocking a regular t-shirt with Floyd Mayweather and Dana White but Conor McGregor he was firing a lot of shots and once again Floyd was coming right back Conor was talking about Floyd Mayweather not being able to read cliche 50 cent type stuff I like when Conor first jumped on the stage he grabbed the mic and the first thing he said was is this mic working and then he threw the other mic at the same time he said it that was good stuff that was really good stuff Floyd Mayweather challenging daring McGregor to bet his entire purse if he really believed in himself even me myself I wouldn't want to see Connor do that I don't think Connor would do it but I wouldn't want to see him do that so Floyd Mayweather Connor McGregor they went at it today it was a great exchange it was a great rap battle that was the greatest press conference ever the only press conference that's beaten this one is perhaps the next two ones that we're going to see. So, you know, that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I just want to give you my thoughts. Excellent must-see TV. There's no doubt about it. Decafs were cringing when they were watching this because they're saying to themselves, this damn bastard Floyd Mayweather is responsible for the greatest press conference of all time. Don't get me wrong, it has something to do with Conor McGregor as well. But Floyd Mayweather, if you think about it, every big pay-per-view attraction, every breaking, every record-breaking pay-per-view, Floyd Mayweather was not only involved, but he was the A-side in all of them except for the Mayweather De La Hoya pay-per-view, which is basically when the torch got handed over to Floyd Mayweather as being not only the biggest star in boxing, not only the biggest star in sports, but a much bigger star than the golden boy Oscar De La Hoya had ever been. I'm telling you right now, they don't want to admit it, but Oscar De La Hoya, he wish, he wishes that this was Canelo versus Connor. Bob Arum is wishing right now this was Manny Pacquiao versus Conor McGregor. But we all know that the press conferences, the promotion would not be this lit if it wasn't for Mayweather and McGregor being involved. This is the reason why whenever Floyd Mayweather did 24-7, whenever he did all access, the numbers were through the roof. When other boxers did 24-7 and all access, the numbers didn't come close to the Mayweather numbers. So putting, you know, I already knew, I think a lot of us knew McGregor and Mayweather on the same stage. Can you imagine how lit that press conference would be? But what I just witnessed today exceeds expectations. I'm gonna go ahead and get my popcorn ready for tomorrow's press conference or the next one. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.